Hey everyone, this is Jason Johnson. We're just going to look at a little bit of an overview of Canvas today. So this is a very first overview and just in terms of navigation essentially with Canvas. We're not going to get into the details, just looking at navigation in terms of how to get around Canvas. And one of the first things I want to look at is just the difference between our global options and our local options. So essentially Canvas is split into two things. One, we have over on the far left our global options, our icons there for navigation to in different settings and areas that will happen kind of as a top layer over top of everything that you do in Canvas. And then inside you would get your course specific. Once you've selected a course, uh, these are the tabs that will you will select inside that course itself. All right, so let's look at a couple of these first in the global options. If you click on your account, you should see your name up here at the top and place to log out, of course, and then five options. Let's look at the profile first. Under the profile, you can change your picture if you'd like, upload a picture, take a picture if you've got your video camera set up, or if you use Gravatar. You can go into Edit Profile, put your name in there, uh, put your title in. This is not a bad place to put in your credentials and so on. And then biography. This is a great place to put in a longer biography that you may want to put in there and uh, so that students if they want to click through that they can they can find that there. Once you get into profiles you'll see a few other things in here and some of these are selected if you go back to your account profile. Some are not. So we're, we're not going to get into all these right now but if we click back on account again we'll see the second one is settings. And you can peruse some of these settings yourself. We're not going to get into adding uh, different web services and so on today, but you should be able to see and verify which email address Canvas thinks that you should be using over there. Next thing is notifications. Now this page can be a little bit overwhelming because there's so many things to check, uh, tick off there and check mark. Uh, what I would do typically is just leave it at the default because you tend to get notified pretty well for things if you leave it at the default. If there's something specific that you feel like you want uh, a little more notification about or you don't feel like you're getting getting info and say uh, when it when we're talking about notification actually sending something to your your email address then uh, you can go through and you can um, select how you would like to do it. So for instance, maybe it's a class where um, you know the default is for discussion and gets notified right away. And maybe you only want a weekly sum summary. Maybe there's a ton of discussion and you don't want every single uh, bitty little bit of discussion coming through. You maybe just want a weekly summary or a daily summary. And you can change those options right in there. The next is files. Now again, this is global. So if you click on files, you'll see all the classes you're connected with. Each one of them has their own folder that you could open up and look in to see what is in those different folders. Um, and then my files is more like kind of your global files that you could upload there. And you can see at least right now in Canvas, we have about a gigabyte available to us inside of there. Any portfolios, which we won't get into right now, it's not really set up, but it's basically a place where um, you can anybody that's connected with Canvas can create a, a e-portfolio that kind of follow your profile around with you. It's not so much for teachers as much as it is for students. So it's the top one in terms of account. Uh, other things, you won't see admin. That's just for, for me and other administrators, uh, Canvas administrators. Under that, you'll see your dashboard. Let's look at the dashboard for a moment. When you click on your dashboard, it will come up with uh, maybe some global announcements that have happened and then the main courses that you're working on. Now, the way that you can change this is that if you click on your courses, which is the next one, it'll show all the same ones that were in those tiles show up here. If you click on all courses, you can scroll down here and you can turn uh, different courses on and off. If you turn off the star, it'll stop showing up there. And if you turn on the star, you go back to the dashboard that particular course will show up there again so you can see that course is showing up there so that's one way to kind of make it so it's not overwhelming uh, probably practical use of this is the courses that you're done with you unstar and you put away the courses that you're currently working with that you you star and that's basically how i'm doing it 
and then you can select obviously the different courses from there. Let's keep on going down to calendar, click on calendar, and from the calendar, uh, you can see all your events coming up. You can see it under week, month, or as an agenda. You can also schedule things from here and create a new event and add it to any of the classes that you want or just to your own um, class itself. This is a good place to perhaps put in an event on a particular class that isn't assigned to a grade, but something you want to put in there like a face-to-face -face meeting. You can click on more options and get into some more details of that if you'd like to. Now the inbox is Canvas's version of email. This happens all inside of Canvas. It only works when the class itself is published, uh, but it allows you to click on a message there and perhaps uh, select everybody in a particular class and you can select everybody to email at one time. You can also select it to send an individual message so it won't look like a group message, it will look like individuals um, in your sent and you can reply back to them in that way. You can also send, uh, record an audio or video message or attach in here just like regular email. One advantage of doing email in here rather than your own email is that you can uh, basically look to see and categorize them under the different classes. The students also see emails in this way, as well as I think that being able to interact with the students in Canvas completely and not having them um, have to navigate their emails from class inside of a, another browser inside among all the other emails and the noise that they tend to get that uh, I I think that is I think it's preferable to interact with them inside of Canvas. It's attached to the class then and everything happens right in there. The Commons we're not going to get into right now, but it's basically a place where you can share things and then download them uh, later and uh, or uh, share them with the world basically and download. You can also look for resources there. Probably not as applicable in our case as it might be to other classes that are a lot more uh, commonplace. And then the UK libraries, this is a good thing to indicate to the students that one click here will take them to the UK online library. So it's nice to have that resource right here. Now maybe the, uh, I don't know if it's the most important link along this on, along this panel here, but the help link right down here is super important. Here's a place that you can go and uh, show the students how they can directly message you right from this link. I think it's helpful. Search Canvas guides, report a problem. This is back to the company, Canvas company. Canvas support hotline and also the chat. These two things. Now, a UK, uh, our school, University of Kentucky, uh, pays for uh, level of service so that they can always call or chat with them directly and they're super helpful particularly for Canvas uh, specific issues not so much teaching and applying kind of things but in terms of Canvas specific problems that you that you might have and those two are, are super important to um, to find there so there are your global settings and now we're going to go into the specific settings to each of the classes. So if I click on my dashboard and say I want to click on my um, Canvas teacher support class here, it'll come up on the home page and you can see all the different settings you can have there. And so that will be the part two of this class which is looking at the course specific uh, settings and navigation that you can do to get into Canvas. So we'll see you there if you need it. Hope that was helpful.